Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the spiral of silence theory that I researched. So to start off, I want to define the theory. So this theory talks about the minority opinion not really speaking out rather than the majority opinion speaking out because they are self-assured in themselves and their opinions. So this theory was actually um, created by Elizabeth Noel Newman, a German political scientist that created the famous model of the spiral of silence theory. And basically, this theory is a empirical and scientific theory because there were people that did many data opinion polls surveys to determine how and why people would voice their opinion rather than um, not voice their opinion. So how has this theory been used recently? So this theory has been affecting online communication and it could be displayed in the media and the ubiquity of the information being displayed everywhere. So let's say, for example, you are looking at the news for some topic, let's say, abortion everyone's in favor of abortion every news site you go to everyone's in favor of abortion so you're more or less likely to lean on that side like okay if they are then i am the same so i think with that being said um this leads to the media having similar attitudes and there's this last minute swing and shift of opinion because of the popular opinion can be represented in many um environments so the next thing i'm gonna do is analyze using the seven steps but i'm just gonna give you guys one um step one of the seven which is scope so the strengths of scope is that the boundaries are expressed in this theory it can be useful in you know strengthening the minority voices to be heard and knowing when to stop the spiral of silence but um, people say whatever they want because they have the power. So handing over that power to the minority and being able to allow those that are afraid to speak out to just speak out and face the fear itself, then that's when someone could overcome that fear and that's where the strength lies. For my recommendations, what I recommend is, um, I would say we should study how this takes effect before everything or could it mean us being more open-minded? Could it also mean we should think of this on their point of view and just accept the other people? And I feel like most of the time, what I learned with this theory is that we always say, oh, be yourself. But when someone is themselves, we kind of shut them down. We push them against the wall on their opinions and views. And ultimately the goal is to be aware, be aware and open-minded that everyone has a say in something and we shouldn't be so quick to judge and we shouldn't be so one-sided on our views so with that being said this theory could help um communications with others and it can make a person more conscious of how they treat others and how they treat you so yeah that's what i learned with my research on this spiral of silence